Hi, I'm Bob Power, Senior Vice President of Corporate Relations at OTC Markets Group. Today we're very pleased to be joined by Federico Castillo Martinez, Director of Investor Relations at Heineken, which trades on our OTCQX Best Market under the symbols H-E-I-N-Y and H-I-N-K-F. Federico, welcome to the Market Center, welcome to New York, thanks for joining us. Thank you, very happy to be here, Bob. Federico, Heineken has accelerated its evergreen strategy. Tell us about how this strategy has influenced the company and impacted your corporate culture. We launched Evergreen at the start of the pandemic. And uh, the name Evergreen entails renewal and entails growth. And of course, it has the word green in it. We have something for, uh, for that color, as you know. And uh, it, it was very important at that time uh, to introduce that, to be able to properly navigate the crisis, but it's also about future-proofing the business uh, so that we can continue to leverage the things that made us strong and made us a great company, but we also made a few shifts in order to be better prepared for the challenges ahead. And these shifts is precisely what is influencing our culture. We have been in the past a, maybe a little bit too product oriented and we need to become even more consumer oriented. Mm -hmm. a, we have grown a lot via volume but we are looking to have a more balanced growth between volume and value. A, we have a very, we're very proud of our operating company decentralized entrepreneurial model but at the same time that has not allowed us to capture the power of our scale of what we can do if we operate as a network of operating companies. And of course, sustainability, as in the word of Evergreen, becomes even more important now than ever, uh, given all the challenges that we have as a society and the duty that corporations like ours uh, uh, need to, need to uh, stand for, up for. As a global leader with over 300 brands, what do you see as the primary drivers for growth at Heineken? We are, first and foremost, a growth-oriented company. Mm -hmm. If you look at the period before the pandemic, we were delivering on the top quartile of the growth among FMCG companies uh, uh, globally. And we're very proud of that. It's part of the vocation, part of what we are. And we're very excited about our growth pro prospects in the future. The beer category remains very exciting. It keeps recruiting consumers around the world. The U.S. is a bit of an exception in that regard. Uh, but if you look at globally, we are gaining a share of throat because penetration of beer keeps on increasing. So beer is, of course, an important uh, avenue of growth, but we have expanded a little bit also beyond beer on non-alcoholic beers, for example. Heineken Zero Zero, case in point, which has been super successful, but also more flavor locations that consumers are migrating to. It's also an area that we're focusing on. It's amazing that uh, being more consumer oriented and defining our space, I mean, more broader, we see ourselves now tapping into almost two times the opportunity that we were focused on uh, just five years ago. With a diverse shareholder base, tell us how Heineken's team communicates its story to the global community. Well, we do the usual things, of course. We have our communications, we have our press releases. Uh, we have a core base of very loyal, long-only investors mm -hmm. uh, that have held our shares for, for many, many years. So, of course, there's an important attention that we provide to them uh, in terms of access to our management and whatnot. Uh, but we, of course, engage in roadshows, we engage in conferences, uh, making ourselves available. You can always contact us at investors at Heineken.com if you want to uh, talk a little bit more uh, to us and are interested more in our story. Well, thank you for that summary, Federico. We appreciate you visiting with us here in New York. We wish you and the company continued success. Thank you very much, Bob.